Welcome everyone, I'm G Dubs Collects here with another unboxing video and we actually have a fun video for you today. I'm actually unboxing That Wrestling Club's November 2018 crate. It's my first time buying it and I'm super, super, super excited to unbox it here for you guys. It just came in the mail, so let's get right to it. Okay, so I signed up for That Wrestling Club's November 2018 box. So here it is, this is my first time ordering with them. Um, really cool box, although if you're trying to be discreet about it, uh, it's not necessarily the best. This box totally reeks of awesomeness. That's phenomenal. I get that. ENC, what's up? Um, so, this is my first time getting uh, a subscription. I was excited about it because my buddy is a huge Ric Flair fan, so I figured with Christmas around the corner, I could maybe get him something from here. Uh, hopefully he's not watching this, so it's not spoiled. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I'm hoping to have something in here that he will like. Um, so that's gonna be kind of cool, but uh, let's get right to it. I wanna do this unboxing right away, so I'm gonna be uh, nice and easy with the cut, although they made this box so nice that uh, it's only really just that little tab there. So uh, we're just gonna cut right here, and let's take a look at what is inside. All right. Ooh. That's cool. So it's supposed to be the Ric Flair box, okay? However, look at this. We got the Hardy Boys Funko Pop, which is awesome because uh, I've seen this in the stores. I do collect Funko Pops uh, and I wanted it, but I was like, eh, you know, I don't know if I really want to get into collecting all the WWE ones and I'm not sure what's going to happen. So um, that's really cool to see that. And uh, here we go. We've got the t-shirt here. Ooh, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Oh man, this is cool. Great shirt, cool design, really cool. Look at that. That is awesome. Nice, little Survivor Series pin, which is cool. And then it looks like we got an autograph here. Oh man. Good old Hillbilly Jim. There we go, right there. That is phenomenal. Got something else down here. Can't make it out. But the coolest one is right on back. This is what makes it the Ric Flair box. Here we go. Ric Flair autographed 8x10. That is phenomenal. Oh, vintage Flair in all his glory. The best part is I think they uh, just gave away a bunch of these robes or something similar in the uh, 2K18 uh, collector's edition. The Woo edition. That was a terrible Woo. It's the Woo edition. There we go. That's a little bit better. So this is cool. We've got the uh, the list of November, which is awesome. I love that they do that. November 2018, we got the uh, exclusive Ricky Steamboat shirt, the Ric Flair autograph 8x10, the Hillbilly Jim autograph, um, the WWE Hardy Boys Funko Pack, and the small package lapel pin is the Survivor Series. Looks like it's a vintage logo. Uh, hashtag that wrestling club. So what's cool if I can get this to focus up is you got Flair and Hillbilly Jim signing these photos and you can see the actual photos in there which is great so that's kind of cool because it kind of gives a little bit of uh, it's not a certificate of authenticity but it gives a little validity to it so I like that. Um, all in all great box uh, I wish there was actually a little bit more Flair stuff because like I said the reason why I got uh, this box was because it was the flare, um, was because it was the flare, uh, November box. So I was hoping like maybe the pin would be flare related, um, the shirt I was definitely hoping would be flare related, and then, uh, again, although I am really pumped about this, uh, this is fantastic. Um, that is awesome. Uh, I, I, but I was hoping it would be a little bit more flare to it, no pun intended. Um, but all in all, I am super, super excited about this. I think it's a great box. Um, to be honest with you, I'd, I'd consider, um, 
I'd consider subscribing to this. It was uh, it was very cheap. It was about 30, 30 or so dollars. Um, I think it was twenty seven to thirty five somewhere around there. Once once tax and tip and all that came came about. Um, so that was great. The shirt is awesome. Uh, I'll be wearing that in future uh, videos because especially as I do these videos, it's not always going to be about wrestling stuff, although my first couple have been about wrestling stuff. I collect a lot of uh, the big sports, MLB, NFL, NBA, uh, NHL. NHL's uh, one of my favorites, although I don't have that much stuff. Uh, baseball, I absolutely have the most, so uh, as you'll see about with posts and different things like that. And as you can see, I actually added a little marshy up here. I got some baseball up there. Well, the Martian's not autographed, but it does have um, a little piece of the net. Right there. It's so hard doing the mirror image on this. But it's got a piece of the net from the uh, Stanley Cup in 2011. So that's super cool. Once again, thanks Jeff, Dave, Tuppy for that. That was awesome. Um, so all in all, I am excited about the box. I think it's awesome. The two autographs are phenomenal. Uh, Hillbilly Jim, like one of those guys that, uh, you know, I probably would never like pay for his autograph, although I loved him growing up. He was a little bit before my time. I'm not that old. But um, this box uh, is great for stuff like that. So I, now I have a Hillbilly Jim autograph, and, uh, and it's so cool. Like that's that's something that's awesome. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll uh, once I can start setting up my WWE section of my basement, or once I actually finish my basement, um, I'll be able to actually kind of display more. Um, so right now I'm in my study and this is kind of my pseudo man cave, but um, I do have big plans for the basement downstairs. So we'll see what happens there. So um, also I wanted to get to this. I, uh, for the second week in a row, I am the lucky recipient of a giveaway. Adam Riches from Boom Studios. Uh, where I got the Dude Love comic book from, which is the, of course, the, uh, I love, love, love that comic book so much because the major wrestling figures podcast, uh, Dude Gate, everything about that, it just is such a funny story. It's so awesome that they uh, uncovered that, the, the comic book cover. Um, and it was, it's so funny because that came out like two years ago. And they already had the Dude Gate Tribal shirt on there. Um, so that's just so funny. I love, love, love that that's part of like the, the, the story of Dude Gate. Uh, it's so funny. And I love how they say on their podcast, if Bill from Mattel had just come clean originally being like, listen, like it's, it was a cost cutting thing. Like the, you know, the machine can only hold the, the shirt uh, a certain way while it's trying to do the deco. Like, like, this wouldn't have been an issue, but uh, it became an issue and it became kind of a cool story and honestly it probably helped launch that podcast even more, which is great. So anyway, uh, because I'm now interested in Boom Studios with the comic books that they do because I bought that Dude Gate one, uh, I retweeted one of his uh, tweets and of course I won. So that was phenomenal. I am uh, over the moon about it and here it is right here, great packaging. This is uh, this is a great job, uh, really protects it. This is what the Dude Gate one came in too. And oh, this is awesome. He asked me if, uh, if I wanted it to be uh, signed and oh, look at that. I don't know what kind of a pen that is. Looks like it's a paint pen, something. I mean, he's an artist, so like, you know, he's got it. But look at this, we got Yokozuna on the cover, the little toy, look at that, oh. That is so cool. Pardon the uh, the ring there. Um, I promise you're not going to die in seven days. Um, but the white one is the autograph there. And that looks so cool. Here, I'll zoom in a little bit more. I'll get it up right here. Because look at that signature. That is awesome. That is an artist's signature. That is someone who knows how to write his name. <laughs> but that is fantastic. So thank you so much for this giveaway. Um, this is awesome. This is fantastic. Um, I'm so excited about that. Uh, that is great. So um, thank you for this giveaway. I am so excited that I won it. Um, I'll splice down a little video so he doesn't have to post the whole thing. 
Um, but that would be cool if he would post it because it was awesome when uh, Major Wrestling Figures Podcast posted my uh, unboxing of the Zack Ryder uh, ring gear. So that was great. And speaking of the wrestling podcast, they have a toy drive going on right now. And so, uh, spoiler alert, I went on a little bit of a toy hunt uh, to some of the TJ Maxx stores uh, trying to find some retro figures but more importantly they had a huge clearance on WWE toys so uh, with the toy drive happening and they're collecting specifically they're collecting WWE toys so I went to every TJ Maxx I could and I found uh, as many of the toys that were in good condition so uh, this one right here we got a little Ric Flair talking speaking of Ric Flair uh, it's one of the um, Tough Talkers is what they're called, uh, and and he actually works still. So if you listen. Time is not forever, and so is Ric Flair. I'm styling and profiling. I can't help it if I'm custom made. I'm styling and profiling. That's a repeat. Time is not forever, and so I can't help it if I'm custom made. There we go. We got the woo. So that's awesome. Whoa, he just, he just yelled at me. Woo! No, nothing. <laughs> That's awesome. So I hope some kid is a huge Ric Flair fan because uh, they will really like that. Um, so this is awesome because I got an Elite. Uh, what's it from? What series is it from? See, this is, this is why I'm not collecting WWE Elite figures, although they're awesome. There's so many of them, and I just, I'm so late in the game, um, I just don't believe I'd be able to, uh, to catch up. But um, this is great because it's an elite, and it's Asuka, and so uh, a great current superstar. Um, it's in decent condition, it's a little bit beat up. But all in all, um, it's, I mean, I'm sure some kid is going to be happy. I, I'm sure they're just going to rip it right open. I don't think they're going to care. So um, that was awesome. That was six bucks. So that was great. Um, and then also I had an awesome find. And I almost considered keeping this one because I remember Tatanka. He was fantastic. I loved him growing up. Um, and this was, uh, if you can see on the side there, three bucks. It was three bucks at TJ Maxx, and I was like, all right, I have to get this. And that's perfect for the toy drive. Because, um, again, a kid's not going to know. I'm going to take the, the price tags off on all these. A kid's going to open this and be like, it's an elite figure. This is awesome. So um, that's great. And then uh, I think the marquee one that I got here, I think some kid's going to really love it. It's the ultimate fan pack, Finn Balor. Uh, and I got this for four bucks. So that was awesome. Um, it's got the arm sleeves so they can do the, uh, the demon. It's got an exclusive DVD so the kids can watch that. Hopefully they have a DVD player. I know that this is going to uh, underprivileged kids who might not um, get toys for Christmas. So, um, so that's awesome. I got those four that I'm going to be sending uh, on the way to the toy drive. So that's really exciting. I'm super happy to do that. And uh, I'll have another video kind of showing you guys uh, how I picked those up. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm super honored by uh, all the viewers I've had so far and uh, the mostly positive. I'm going to say honestly, everything's been positive. Uh, <laughs> there was one guy on uh, Zack Ryder's photo, which was so cool that uh, they, he did a uh, screenshot and he uh, tweeted it out to two million people, which is cool. Um, but it was a picture of me with the, uh, with the wrestling ring gear. And uh, one guy just goes, I thought for a second it was Husky Harrison. <laughs> I was like, ah, man, I can't even fight that one. That's, uh, that's on point. So <laughs> that was great. But it's awesome because Bray Wyatt's honestly one of my... Uh, uh, Bray Wyatt is my favorite modern day wrestler right now. Uh, I think that they... Uh, need to do some really cool stuff with him. He is so talented. The promos he cuts are phenomenal. Um, I love the stuff he was doing with, you know, Woke and Matt Hardy. Um, so I hope that they do more with Bray Wyatt because I really am a huge fan. I know he just came back at Starcade, which is cool, but that was kind of technically a house show. So I'll be excited to see if he comes back. Maybe on the next pay per view, a little TLC or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, Husky Harris, that's, that's about the most negative thing I've seen 
and uh, I will take that all day. So uh, thank you guys so much for uh, watching these videos and I'm gonna keep doing some more videos. Uh, hopefully I get the process a little trimmed down so it becomes a little easier, but uh, I'm excited to do these and I'm excited to share more. So thank you so much. Make sure you click, uh, at least give me a like on the video and uh, if you want to subscribe, there's going to be more videos coming, so I understand I this is only my third one. But um, there's going to be more stuff coming, and, um, and definitely follow me on Twitter and Instagram, at GDubsCollects. So uh, thank you very much, guys, and take care, and we will see you next time. And I still don't have a tagline, so keep on collecting!